Guys, Kev here, and I have some stuff to unbox for you. Um, the first one here is from Kaiser. Shout out to Kaiser. I believe this is the Kaiser Phoenix. So um, they had these. They were a little delayed, I think, coming in. So uh, they didn't get these out to us right away. But here you go. This is the Phoenix. And this is in a black stone wash with titanium and orange dark matter. Oh, yeah. That's probably the one I would have chose had they given me an option. I don't know if there's more than one version, but um, pretty cool. The Drop Bear, 10 anniversary there. 10 year anniversary for Kaiser. And here's the knife, guys. Um, uh, yeah. So if you guys don't know, this knife is special for... Um, the reason that it is designed by one of the most well-regarded members of our community. Uh, one that most people would call a true bro. And that is Maddie over at Mattis Faction. So check out Mattis Faction's channel. If you have not heard of it, it is linked down below. And um, this is his design. This is the Phoenix and it's named after his son. And look at that dark matter orange fat carbon looking absolutely stunning. Uh, seems to be, is that aluminum or titanium on here? Uh, let's see, does it tell me? Titanium. So we do have titanium, a flipper tap, and we have an inset liner. Pardon me, a liner lock. With nested liners. Um, I like that the lock bar is so small. Um, it did feel right there like the detent was a little soft. Um, for the studs, it's an absolute banger. For the flipper tab, I do wish they had um, dialed that up just a little bit. Uh, but I get it. You kind of have to uh, pick your poison there. Um, but I would say if they... Um, if they didn't want to go full pressure on that um, flipper, they should have just deleted it. I'm guessing it's a big part of the design for Maddie, but um, the thumb studs do bang. So that's nice. Look at this crazy looking blade. Um, you have sort of a Bowie looking thing, clip point uh, with this gnarly looking fuller or slot. I don't even know. It's cool. Nice slots right here. Kind of guide you to the studs, right? Um, those really pop. That black really looks good. Reverse flick, solid. Thumb flick. Yeah, that detent is bouncing a little bit even off the stop uh, when it's closing. So I think they could go a little stronger. Could be just this example. So um, it's not like anything I'm going to sit here and uh, complain about on the model. I'm sure it's just this one and me. And then you have this geared backspace here. It looks nice and slick. That's pretty cool right there. Uh, very, very cool. Dead centered. Man, those thumb studs bang though, don't they? Drops nice. Nice and smooth. Not too, um, not too drop shut in a good way. You know, it doesn't need to take your absolute finger off comes down on you and then smooth shake home uh, let me clean that tang off just a little bit see if that's anything yeah wasn't feeling it or anything um, i'm already getting used to this flipper tab so a lot of times it's just getting used to it right it's a good push button an example of that would be our nip design um, I know that some people are going to think the detents are a little bit soft and um, obviously they vary from knife to knife. I've handled like 50 of them and I can tell you they do vary a little bit. No company can be perfect across the board, um, but it's something where you just have to handle it for a little bit, carry it and you'll get the hang of it, right? Um, you just need to give it a nice push, push switch, I call it. Um, and then you get used to it and this is, seems to be the same way. I mean, now that I understand it, I just give it the nice drag and push and it fires out with the, with the flipper and then it's not too harsh on the studs. Cause if they had gone any stronger, 
on this flipper, I think uh, the studs would start to hurt when you flicked them. And they're perfect. I mean, you can hear that banging out, right? That's just marvelous. Very comfortable in the hand. I mean, uh, it's really good in the hand. You obviously can't choke up uh, normally, but if you're like me, you'll do it anyway, flipper choil style, and just be careful. It's kind of how I roll. You got some jimping here, almost like it's meant for that, or for those large-handed folks to choke up like so. Uh, let's check it out in a Slurpee grip. So Friday night, oh yeah, Maddie. Friday night gas station grip. This thing is doing some work back the f up off my slurpee man lock bar access is money man maddie with the fire huh <laughs> get it fire um uh, cool clip i gotta test it out but s35 i like that he, he they went uh black wash not just uh black coating now can you flick that thing like sticks out just a little bit <laughs> Oh, Maddie. Ha ha. Oh, Matty. Oh, there it is. Oh. No. Give me that. There it is. Hold on. Right handed? Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. I think he meant that to be there. Whew. Yo, I'm going to get used to it. Right there. Yeah. See when I line it up, it fires. It's just getting that, getting it online. There it is. Now I know where the spot is. Bang! That's nice. Yeah, Maddie, this is really good. Shout out to Mattis Faction guys. I'm just happy and proud, and um, just so cool to see the community doing stuff like this. I absolutely love it. I am here for it, and I support it. I will link this down below. You can go check it out if you want to pick one up. Um, go give Matty a follow. Tell him I sent you. Tell him how cool it is that he has his first night design out there. And it's a really good one. I love that liner lock. It's really nicely done. So let's go on to the next thing using that knife. We have a package from Olay. <sighs> Unfortunately, I didn't need to use it. So... Uh, this is from Olight, and I think we have some new stuff. New patch here. New patch here. Those are pretty cool. We have the i3e EOS with skulls on it. That's probably the freebie. We have the new Warrior Nano. And then something I asked to check out. The Seeker 4 Pro. So I wanted to check this out because like I said, uh, well, I don't know if I said it in this video, but um, I'm now doing a little more stuff uh, outside because I have more land here. And um, I just noticed I was underpowered a little bit. So I thought it'd be cool to have one of these maybe by the back door or garage or something. And this is a powerful flashlight with a multifunctional holster. 4,600 lumens. 260 meters or feet of throw? Meters of throw. Man, this is, a, this is a package right here. Oh, that's cool. So you can mount this puppy on the wall. Look at that, dude. You can charge it right there. You can uh, clip it, obviously to whatever you want. Um, there's a little uh, charging thing down there. I swear I saw where you could mount this on the wall or something. Maybe uh, maybe not, let's see. Is there anything else in here? We have, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We have this, which I think is adhesive that you can put and then, yep, there you go. So you can take this and mount it on your wall or anywhere you like. And I guess it uh, locks in through here. Then you just push back and you can get it out of there too. And then you can use the uh, holster the way it was meant. That's pretty dang cool. Pretty slick. And then you have this as well. So I guess, uh, not quite sure. Is just an extra? Or is that, so you put one here. 
on the wall and then one. No, it doesn't make sense, does it? Probably just an extra in case yours wears off. I don't know. Instructions probably tell us, but who reads those? Um, then we have this. This has some wall anchors in it. I guess because you could mount that with screws if you wanted to. Here's the instructions, some wall anchors, and our charging cable. It's going to be an USB-A to USB-C. Okay. Can I get it all back in here is a real question. Because I don't usually need this. So you can charge this on a standard, probably Olight charger. Um, so it should be magnetic. I'll test that here in a second. Just want to put all this stuff away real quick. Uh, where was this? On top of that? How was this in there? I'm confused now. This was underneath, right? But it almost seems like it was cut to fit. I don't know. Oh, idiot. <laughs> don't tell anybody I'm dumb, all right? Don't tell them. Don't tell them. But anyway, this is very cool. I'll keep that in here for now. All right, there we go. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're close. I might be able to shut it if I try hard enough. Come on now. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Boom. I did it. Don't tell anybody I didn't. Here she is. Let's see what's in here. It's inside this beast. Oh my goodness. 21700. A monster. Oh, it's got a dial, dude. Oh my goodness. That is hot. It does not have a proximity sensor, so be careful. Look at that. Four giant LEDs. Turbo! Oh my goodness. I can bring it down. That's so cool. I love that you can dial it. You can also do the quick turbo. You can do the moonlight, I'm sure. Strobe warning. Strobe warning. Yeah, you can do all the use. You can hold down for modes if you want, or use this. That's so cool. Yeah, simple yet very cool. Magnet, yep. That's the Seeker 4 Pro, very cool. Definitely gonna see that again. Don't need to open this. This'll probably be the freebie or whatever, so stay tuned, that'll be a giveaway. And then this is very cool. So you guys know I love my warrior three mini i also have a full-size warrior i think it is a warrior s and this is a nano this is a mini this is a nano how cool is that so in here is the usual stuff this actually comes with a little uh base so you could uh put this on a wall or something and then it'll magnetize to it which is pretty cool stuff Let's see if I can slide this back in without too much fuss. You can do it. You can do it, Kev. You can do it. I promise. There, I did it. I did it. I did it. You can do it. Okay. Let's look at this first. Oh, it has the tail switch. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on. So same size, really, right? So this is going to be a 18350. So this is what I was talking about 
in the other video where I was talking about my new light, this is my um, Focus Works. This is $195, and this is the F2. And uh, this has a 14500 okay? So just so you guys can see the comparison in size to other flashlights, this is a 14500 which is this size battery, okay? And then you have this, which is a 10440 size battery, okay? So that's this size battery, all right? Then you have this, which is going to be, I can almost guarantee it, but I'll double check, an 18650, 18650, Right here, it doesn't seem much thicker than that really, but in pocket it does feel bigger. So that is gonna be a larger version of this, but the same thickness, okay? Um, so this goes here, just so you guys get a visual. There you go, okay? So obviously the bigger the battery, the more power you're gonna get, the more lumens you're gonna be able to get, maybe more run time, stuff like that. Now there is a balance, right? Um, this is a 18350 1100 mAh. This is a 14500 1100 mAh. So these actually have the same capacity, so to speak. Uh, this is a 3.7 volt. This is a uh 3.96 watt hours it's uh, i don't know where it says somebody tell me if you know but this is 3.7 volt 4.707 watt hours this actually has more capacity not that that means anything really but um so same capacity but i'm assuming this being a uh larger cell i guess it can pump out more lumens. That's how I look at it. At least that's what I think. Oh, there, 3.6 volt. That's 3.7. But this guy has 1,200 lumens on turbo. And I think somebody told me this is only like 500 lumens or something like that. Um, maybe it's more. I'll look that up. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out because this is the different battery sizes and the sizes of the flashlights. This is 650 lumens in this tiny little battery, but this is 320 mAh, okay? Um, the watt hours on that, I, I don't even know what it would be. If these are 4.07, I mean, this is probably like one <laughs> or two uh, watt hours. So it's not going to run as long. It's not going to uh, last as long, basically, right? You're going to be recharging it all the time. This is a bump up. Um, and then this is another bump up. So anyway, I'm not an expert. I just wanted to uh, show all the different battery sizes for you there for anybody who cares for whatever reason, okay? Also, uh, 14500 is AA size, 10440 is AAA size, and this, I don't know, what is that, like a C battery or something? I don't know. I'll put this away. That's what I'm carrying. So, uh, let's see. And then the difference between the one in here, the 18650 and the 18350, is the length. <laughs> so, the way the battery works, shout out to Marcel or whoever taught me this, uh, the first number there, the 18, is the uh, 18 millimeter diameter, okay? And then the 350 is the um, length, 350 millimeter length, right? Um, so a 10 440 is 10 millimeters wide and uh, what? 440 millimeters long. So that's why it's longer than this 18350. Does that make sense? Um, and then this one is 14 millimeters in diameter and 500 millimeters long. And that's how you get the name of the battery, if that makes sense.
So, the difference between this guy and the one in here is literally the length. It's an 18650, so it's 650 millimeters long versus 350. Cool? Makes sense. Okay. Um, just in case anybody else is as limited on knowledge as I am. And I'm sure I'll get corrected down below anyway. So, Warrior Nano. Um, right away. Feels great in the hand. Nice little grip. It's got just enough grip. You know what I mean? Where this... Yeah. I wonder... What, you think I'm going to break it, though, if I swap some shit? I wonder... Are these identical? You think I'll break the shit, though? This one's probably rated to handle more, right? So let's just see. Oh, oh, oh. Hybrid? Don't die. Don't die, don't die. Look at that. I made a hybrid. Now this one, on the other hand, I'd be a little concerned. Probably shouldn't do it, honestly, because it's probably going to fry this little bastard out. I probably shouldn't do it. Probably shouldn't do it. 3.6 volt. So if they're both 3.6 volt, it should be fine, right? I don't know. I think it works. All right. That's enough experimenting, though. I don't want to go crazy. But it looks like you can interchange your pots here. Sure. See? Let's make sure it works still. Yeah. Still works. That was risky business. Ugh. I hate these batteries because you have to flex the clip. To get it on. There we go. Still works. All right. So let's just see. Like, how do I test the modes? Let me just see. Oh, this one's got a low battery. So there's low, medium, high, low. Medium, high. Both look pretty similar. There we go. Definitely a little stronger over here. But I don't know if it's battery or what. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if the 650 has more lumens or just more runtime. That's one thing I don't understand. Um, because I know this guy doesn't have a, a, a huge amount of lumens because I've compared it to other stuff. Um, but that's very cool that they're in the same family and they seem to have some interchangeability to them. So you could kind of make a Franken um, flashlight. Uh, I'm not positive. Don't hold me to that because I don't want to be responsible if something happens to your light. Um, but that's very cool. So this is the uh, Warrior Nano from Olight. Um, yeah, and we got one more thing to unbox. Um, so I'll have a video on this coming soon. Probably get that thing charging. Oh, and look at this. Same color scheme on the uh, Seeker. Look at that. I got a bit of a... I got a bit of a uh, family here, huh? That's pretty cool, actually. They all magnetize. Yep. It's <laughs> pretty cool, actually. All right. Uh, one more. So this last one here is from Two Yanis. I had to add another part because I showed my address, so... This is the Blackbeard. This is a um, this is a uh, slip joint from Tuya. Warren Blades, home of Tuya Knife, U.S. Sales and Service. I believe he opened a storefront, actually. So that's pretty cool. Here it is. This is the Blackbeard. So this guy has a meld clip. Interesting. This is some crazy feeling looking uh, 
titanium. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that sort of shine to it. We have a uh, fuller on each side. Oh, that's right. He was saying it has this like interesting triple half stop thing. Okay, first off, that belt satin is gorgeous. Look at that thing. Wow. What is the plate steel on this? I'm not seeing it anywhere. Um, very comfortable in the hand. I love the contour. Wow, this is cool. Nice choil here. That is weird. That is really weird. Look at that. There's the tang geometry. So it hits. It hits here, then hits here, then hits here, then pops open. I wonder why they did that. Did they do that because they couldn't pull off a good half stop? Because it's honestly very odd. I really like this knife, um, but that is a little odd. It's a little, I don't know. The spring is like decently strong from uh, close to whatever that is. Uh, and then it's a little softer after that. It's very easy to get to half stop, but then it tightens up right here. Very interesting. Um, I would say personally, I don't like that. Um, I want a traditional feel to my slip joint, but it does feel good. Um, it does feel solid like if you if you can ignore that odd half stop stuff like it's just weird what it's doing here like from here to there to there is just like three different one two three and then close <laughs> it's just goofy i don't know how else to put it um, it has Chicago screws, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I just wanted to have a traditional half stop. And then I'd be, I think, really happy. But as is, I do actually really like it. It's a larger size for a slip joint, I'd say. It's got some heft to it, too. No milling. Oh, I take it back. There is milling in there. And this is number 88 of 110. I don't know if you can see that down there, but 88 of 110. And it's got this logo on it, maybe because it's called the Blackbeard. And there's the Tuya logo. Yeah, I think had they done a traditional half stop and it was as good as, honestly, the rest of the walk and talk feels, I think I'd be uh, head over heels. As is with that goofy half stop. I still like it. I still like it. Just don't love it. Nice grind. It's a flat grind. I would have loved to seen a to have seen a hollow here, but it is sharp. I'm guessing it's S90V or M390, but can't be positive. Um I'm getting used to it though. I kind of just pull it all the way to there and then take it the rest of the way. Because trying to stop at half is goofy. And there's no, like, true half. Like, half would be right here, but it doesn't sit there. It's, it's very weird. Let me feel the clip out. Yeah. Clip is pretty good. So I'd say overall, it's, it's pretty sweet. Um, definitely a cool slip joint. Um, I'm definitely going to pass this around after review because I really want to get other people's opinion on this thing. Um, Dave told me that this was uh, a, mostly a European knife. Their European dealer um, has them or had them and it's done very well over there. Um, and so I was like, hey, let me check it out. I'd love to try one. It comes in, a, I believe, a black DLC as well. Um, the finishing is really cool on the handle. Everything about this is really cool. Uh, so I would check it out if I was you, as long as you can deal with 
a goofy half stop. I'm starting to get it. I just like a consistent feel. So I'm carrying my uh, Vampire Jack from Jack Wolf Knives. And I just like a consistent, you know, feeling. <laughs> Repeatable fidget, you know. Um, and you'll see this at half stop. It jumps to half. Dead nuts, half, and then pops down. Where this, you, <laughs> try to get it to the first, there. It stops there on this angle. Then it goes to there on that angle. Then it switches to there and then opens. So you don't, <laughs> see that? Kind of like triple half stops. It's interesting. It's, I don't know. I definitely don't like it as much as I like a traditional feel. But I don't know if it's bad or anything. I think you're meant to just kind of breeze right through it. You kind of end up right at that last one. And then you pop it open. That's kind of what I'm thinking there. Here's a size comparison for you. And I'll get the ruler out. Um, you're looking at... Three and a quarter blade, 4.2 handle, and 7.3 overall. So not a huge knife, not a tiny knife, right in the sweet spot. Very comfortable in the hand. Um, and you know, I don't know the price point, but I'd venture to guess it's under $200. So, um, check them out. That's the Blackbeard from Two Your Knives. Go to their website. I'll link it down below and I will carry this and I'll do another video letting you know how I feel about it after, you know, actually carrying and using it. Um, the one thing I don't like about the way this half is set up is it seems like the spring is softer on the uh close so it's much easier for you to accidentally like close it on yourself now i guess it would stop there oh see it kind of jumped to that second one and there's a third so it's just a little too easy to close spring isn't soft though like this is pretty strong <laughs> it's just a kind of goofy setup but i also kind of like it it's just different you know, once you get the hang of it, it's different. I guess it's just closing it that's a little odd for me. I, I like to have a consistent feel, and this kind of just wants to jump all over. So that's my really only gripe. I mean, it feels great to walk and talk. Like, listen to it open. Really clacks open. Pops close. So all of that's good. As the clip is, it's not tapping. It's just really long, I guess. So I can feel it moving a little bit. Um, the long pulls are good. I mean, I'm just grabbing blade, basically. And that's nice. Man, it really is comfortable in the hand, though, ergonomically. So do I have a slip for it? That's a good question. I have, oh, wait, it has a clip. So this is one that I guess I'll try with the clip. Um... I don't have anything anyway, I don't think, other than clip slips, but that makes no sense for this. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think on this one. Uh, I'm, like, torn on it, but I also really like it. I guess that made no sense. I'm torn on it. <laughs> it means I like it. Um, I just have some thoughts on the uh, uh, half stop, really. But, yeah. And the uh, Kaiser Phoenix here. Very good. So both of those are really nice. Uh, and then we have the uh, mini nano, sorry, warrior right there. So I will link what I can down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.